What's going on everybody, it's Inferno here with another Pokemon Uranium video, and today, well, we've reached Rochfell Town, uh, with, we've reached Rochfell Town after, uh, finally getting through Rockfeller Cave, with, uh, the pesky other kid, uh, what was his name, Theo, right? And we beat that Turland of, whoa, what's this? Cypress Pokemon Lab, oh, cool, uh, I guess we're not visible later, who cares? Right now, uh, let's go on. Ah, uh, dude, who are you? Zack. Zack. Who the? Uh, okay, so, uh, just a simple rematch. Meh, who cares. Alright, let's go on here west. Oh yeah, did I mention? Oh. Bamboo. What's he doing here? Inferno. How unexpected. It's good to see him, mate, but unfortunately, now wasn't the best time. There's been an emergency at Cypress Lab. We're all incredibly flustered. So I went out to try and do something. Although actually running into you now might have been the lucky break we need. I can't explain here. How about you come back with me to the lab? I'll introduce you to Professor Cypress and she'll give you the lowdown on what's happening. Follow me. Cool, dude. All right. What's uh, uh, what's what's going on here? Ernest, you're back. Did you find the thief? Is it this kid? Listen, kid, you picked the wrong lab to break into last night. Wait, Lenny, hold on. This isn't the thief. This is my Inferno. My, this is Inferno, my research assistant. They happen to be passing through town. They're a Pokemon trainer. Huh, a Pokemon trainer. Are they trustworthy? Of course they are. They're my assistant, aren't they? Besides, their father is Kellen, the Pokemon, the Ranger Chief. Aha, uh -huh. so you're Kellen's kid, huh? Well, I suppose I can't trust you. I'm Lily Cypress, the Pokemon professor at this lab. You probably figured out what's going on by now. Last night while we were out, someone broke into the lab. They stole many of the Pokemon we were keeping here for research. Oh no, not the Pokemon. But it's strange. They completely ignored the most valuable thing in here. There, on that table. The prototype Pokemon speech translator. It's a cutting edge technology we've been developing. There are some who would go to great lengths to get their hands on it. That's what got us baffled. Why would someone break in if they weren't going to steal the PSC? Look, it's a, it's a assistant. You're back. What did you find? I managed to recover one of the stolen Pokemon. This fellow was hanging out on Route 6. This is excellent. I have an idea. Let's use the PSC on Oten to find out more about the Z. Oten, 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 oh. Now oh, cool. So I guess we use it now. Scary. So scary. Listen, my Pokeballs. Let's leave. Suddenly, I'm moving. But not human, friend. Taking me and others out towards the mountain cave. Dropped my Pokeball and got free. Oh, oh, that's so cool. The speech translator like lets you talk to Pokemon, or at least understand them. Towards the mountain cave. That must be on Route 6. Maybe the thief is still there with the rest of the stolen Pokemon. This is a good lead. Somebody give that Pokemon a treat for its hard work. Now the question is, how do we catch this thief? They've got the stolen Pokemon on them, so they could be dangerous. Inferno can help. They're a Pokemon trainer. They even have two badges already. Oh yeah, we do. Is that so? In that case, Inferno, you might be exactly who we need. According to Ocean, the thief is still on Route 6 to the west. If you'd look into it, we'd all be in your debt. In order to help you with your investigation... Oh, I know. Why don't you bro borrow the prototype PSC? That way, you can talk to any other Pokemon you find to help locate the thief. Oh, sweet. We can now talk to Pokemon now. Ain't that awesome. Please, be quick. We're all counting on you. Sure. Julio. Let's go. Let's go! Alright, so... I think we might need to stock up on potions if, uh... Yeah. Alright, so... Potions, uh, let's go ahead and grab seven. Ah, yes. Yeah, in time of crisis, this is exactly what we need. Uplifting music from the Pokemon. Beautiful. Let's just listen to it for a bit. Alright, that's enough listening. Let's go. Time to save some Pokemon from the uh, Pokemon Sealer. Let's go up here. We're at Route 6, which means new Pokemon encounter. Oh, geez, and also new trainer encounters as well. Ah, there we go. Oatens on the road? Uh, okay. Let's uh, do a quick save. Sure, override save. I don't care. All right. Uh, I don't know if we. I really want to battle them, but. All right. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Ten. Ten. CFC. No humans allowed. Oh boy, our encounter for the route. Wild. Wait, this is our encounter. Oh, that's so cool. I've always wanted to know ten. Look at them. They're just so cute. Like owl cat things. Oh, that's cool. Please don't die. Oh, thank you. You are you. You're great. You know, I know the perfect name for you. I know just what to call you. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it. Throw a Pokeball at it. Chink, ka chink. Perfect. Oten was caught. Great. Oten, the observer Pokemon, normal flying. Oten are mainly seen at night when they're looking for berries and other individuals of a species. They are known for their lovely singing voice. Oh, that's cool. That's beautiful. All right. Now, quick question: How many of you guys have read Guardians of Gahul? So, ah, uh, if you remember, it's the little the main owl dude's name, Thorin, and we got ourselves a little owl dude, kind of cat looking, I guess, but still, it's an owl. All right, box one, sweet. Oh, that's so cool. We turned some O10. Time for an even cooler and better team. Super potion. Sweet. All right. Can we avoid? Nope. No, we can't. Ten. Ten. No humans allowed. Oh. Okay. Another O10. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. You took down that previous O10 with these, so I don't see what's any different about this one. All right. Boom, Shackalaka rock throw. Oh boy, you're a bit stronger, aren't you? Alright, wing attack, and don't, no, yeah, that's, that's good. Boom, Shackalaka, boom, you're fainted. Haha, knocked out, Oten fainted. Under 24, for the lovely, uh, Orion. You know, we, we, we could use a little bit of healing magic. Where are the, aha. Right, right up, right up here, right, yeah, I found it. And Oten, oh, oh no, not Oten, Orion. Wow, I am really bad with like, another Oten. Dude, you're, you're in the way. Oh, Oten! You use the PSC, flash. Oh look, you do a damn. How dare you try to take me away? Take this! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean, take you away? I took your cousin, maybe? Sure, but... I didn't take you, though. Oh, maybe it's the thief. Alright. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the thief is... Whoever stole the other Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon they did end up stealing. Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Orion's attack card they fell, that's not, that's not nice. Great. All right. I don't know what Pokemon they did end up stealing. Do you think? Do you think it could be a nuclear Pokemon? Considering this is uranium and all. I I I've, I've heard like stuff about uranium. How they're introduced like a brand new type. So let's see. Maybe the answer is I in this cave. And uh, hey Vincent, I'm I'm kind of nervous. Here we go. All right. What the? Is that a kid? A kid stole all the Pokemon from the lab. Guard a kid. Guard. Guard. It's not a. It's not a human. It's a. It's a Pokemon. Wow. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokemon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't be your prisoners anymore. Garlic Kid is here, the Pokemon hero. I found them in that horrible human place, and I liberated them. We'll fight for our freedom. Do you're a Pokemon? And you use Pokemon battle? What? I have no grasp of what's going on here, Luna Pup. You're cute, you're level 18, you're a danger. So, uh, the way I always deal with danger is to switch into someone stronger. Cause I love uh, Orion. He's awesome. So cute. I don't. I don't want it to die just yet. <laughs> it tried using kick. You know, we 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 need to we need to heal up real quick. Jeez. Oh boy. 
<laughs> lagging and my computer just sucks like that. Alright. Dude, you did literally nothing. Alright. Ooh, I'm running low on Giga Dreams. Might need those for later. Let's go with Fairy Wind. Alright, super effective and low kick. Ciao. Look at that. Wait, it's super effective. What type are you? Alright. Boom. Oh, it's 1 HP. Alright, you use Endure. Wow. Alright. One more Fairy Wind and Luna Pup. You are adorable. You really are. But I'm sorry, I, I just had to knock you out. A minion. A minion. A minion. Please don't be like ovally and yellow with blue overall. I beg of you. Please. Ah, perfect. You're like the complete opposite. Ah. Oh, though, you do kind of remind me of Bat of Batman. Let's see. Do we? Do we go for what type would it be? I don't know. It looks looks shady. Let's go into Festus. See, uh. Let, let, let his chest to deal with him for now. Deal with her. I'm sorry. You're that woman. Alright, cool. Got it. Alright, let's use a uh, ember. And a proof. Nice. Not bad. Ouchie. Ow, 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 ouchie. Ow. Okay. You are one uh, heck of a foe. Alright. Ouchie. Really. Stop using bite. Alright? If that's cool with you, I would like for you to stop using bite. Or I mean at least get burned. Oh come on! Alright, well Hephaestus you can't escape but you are faster. So here we go. Alright, minion. Minion's knocked out, or right 115, Hephaestus 115. Sweet. A bat cat. Basca, a, a basca. Hmm. Is it like another new Pokemon? So we got Minion of Batman, Luna Pop. Uh, whoa! This is the evolution of Bastion. This is what we get. This is like, dude, you're a fighting type. Oh my God, Ryan, you're gonna die. Please don't die. All right, Cutterbug, you got this. I hope. Ow. Stomp. Ow! Oh, you know what, Bastion, you're probably still a dark fighting guy. Most Pokemon don't really change the typing, so that's safe to assume you at least retained one of those types. That a thing about a fairy wind. I, I, I was correct. Sweet. Well, now we know what's in store for us in the future. A Basca. That's awesome. Though he is dabbing, so that kind of nullifies a little bit of my respect. Alright. Cutterbug's level 19. Cutterbug, you're all like a, you're like our MVP now. Here we go, kid. Ha! Prepare to be destroyed. Gar, Nick. We, we lost. But how? Why do these? Why do those Pokemon fight on behalf of humans? Don't they want their freedom? There, your friend. That's impossible. Humans, Pokemon, and humans cannot coexist. All right, come down there a bit, get this. Minion, Lunapub. A bat cat? Comrades! <laughs> what, where are we now? The USSR? It wouldn't be so bad. Comrades! They're going back to that place! Why? There! You'll pay for this, human! So long as there are Pokemon that are being held against their will, I, Garlicid the Pokemon hero, will be there to save them! I'll be back! Alright, cool, cool. Uh, you do that, Terminator kid. Alright, let's, uh... I don't know, maybe we can... Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Paparazzi here. Inferno, you did it! We managed to recover all the po missing Pokemon thanks to you. We followed behind you in case you need backup. But you did great! We saw everything that happened. Did any of you see a tiny green man in a costume run by just now? Dude, that wasn't a man, that was a Pokemon of straight. Our thief was actually a Pokemon called Garlic Kid. They're incredibly rare. I haven't heard one of being sighted in many years. Its habitat is a remote spot in the mountains, so it doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had never encountered people before. Garnicut has a strong sense of justice. It must have seen the Pokemon in the lab and thought we were keeping them prisoner. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited. Perhaps Garnicut has a point though. 
From now on, we'll make sure our Pokemon have more freedom, and we'll listen to them more closely. Cool. Speaking of, as a field test for the Pokemon Speech Translator, I say this was a resounding success. I can see it becoming a very useful tool in the hands of Pokemon Trainer. So, with thanks for all that you've done for us, why don't you keep the prototype PSC? This is bound to give us some great field data. Just be careful with it, alright? We wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands. Huh. Sounds a bit like foreshadowing. If you need anything, we'll be back at the lab. Until next time, see you guys. You want going with them, Bamboo? Inferno, if this were a test, you pass the fine colors. You show great intuition and resourcefulness. Thank you. I say you were on your way to becoming a fully fledged trainer. Wait, why, why, why aren't I a fully fledged trainer already, mate? Oh yeah, before I forget, I have an item here that will help you on your journey. Experience share, baby! Woo! Great, now wait, uh, it's a less strenuous training. Sweet. Allow one of your Pokemon to hold that experience share, and it will gain experience even when it doesn't participate in a battle. Keep catching Pokemon and growing stronger. Your next gym badge is in Beale Beach City, right? That's a long trek, so you'd better stock up before your journey. Happy travels, I'm rooting for you. Now, I've got to get home to Mo Lo Monkey Town. Let's fly, KJ. KJ. Oh, that is cool. Alright. Well, like the old man said, um, I guess we're going on to Beale Beach City now. You know, it doesn't sound half bad. I'm guessing, uh, <laughs> trainer. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a water, a water type gym, you know, beach and all that stuff. So, until next time everybody, that was cool, we found a garlic kit. Ha, nice. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll see you guys pretty soon. Don't forget to leave, to leave a like and subscribe, you.